So the plan for today is I have a few errands that I need to run. I need to go to our thrift store. I'm looking for some white elephant gifts. I and some costume because we're doing a fun holiday party that involves dressing up. So I need to go to our thrift store to look for some things for that. I'm home alone, which is super rare. So while the kids are away, I probably have about 30 minutes to try to get a few presents wrapped. So I'm going to put on a Christmas movie, then I will head off to run some errands, but I'm going to bring you guys along with me. I know you guys love to check out our thrift store. I love watching other people thrift shop. So I will film as much as I can. I always feel so awkward filming in our thrift store. I feel like every single person is staring at you. So I always only use my phone and I still feel awkward. So I'll do my best to show you guys maybe some things that we have at our thrift store. And then right when I get back, I need to decorate my porch. So that's another thing that's on the list of to do's today. So one of the places I always check every time I go to the thrift store is our book section. This is where I always get our holiday books because we love to do book walls. I did end up picking this Christmas cookbook up as a white elephant. It might be a good white elephant, but when I saw this, I thought that would be a perfect gift. Another place I like to go is the kitchen area and I always am looking for rolling pins just because I like to style those throughout the house. And then with Christmas coming, I like to check out the kids toy section. I found this and this totally brought me back to childhood. Does anybody else remember these? I don't even know what they're called. They would like spin and talk. I thought they were so much fun, but I'm just going to show you guys a few other aisles. I like to go down and then something I had to come here for was a tie. I'd love to hear who you guys think we're dressing up as we're doing movie characters. That's the theme of the party. So based off a green tie, let me know in the comments if you guys know who we're going to dress up as. Come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, come ye, come ye to Bethlehem, come and behold him, born the king of angels, come let us adore. I wasn't planning on doing this in this video, but I figured since I included some footage of me at the thrift store, I should show you guys some of the things that I have recently found for Christmas as far as thrifting goes. So the first one is this little candle here. Now I've dressed it up a little bit, like I've put some greenery and some bells on here. But to me, when I saw this candle, immediately I thought of the Christmas Carol. And so I actually have this right now sitting right beside my Christmas Carol book. So I just thought this was the perfect little candlestick to have displayed during Christmas. Neither of these things are really Christmas once again, but I thought they'd be perfect to use as decor. So when I saw this giant key, I immediately thought of the big keys that people have out for Santa Claus. And that was where my mind went when I saw this key. I know this isn't a Christmas decoration, but I thought this would be fun to add to our Christmas decor. And then I also saw, this was like right beside this giant book. And again, not Christmas, if there's something in here. What did I put in here? Oh no, there's not, okay. I have this displayed together. I thought this would also be fun to maybe on Christmas Eve put some something in here. So I might do that. But as of right now, this is displayed over on my dining table and I have this sitting on top of this book with candles and greenery and it looks really cool. This is a little bowl that I found that says cookies for Santa. I just thought that was super cute. And then books I'm always getting. You guys already know I get all my holiday books at the thrift store. So these were just some that I found this year. Um, I thought this one looked really cute. The Christmas carols and then you guys are gonna die when you see this book. So let me just, um, this one is Santa's Workshop. Look how amazing this book is. So it's tied up right here with a bow and it's one of those pop-up books. But like, look at this. Okay, that's the first one. Like it is, it is so amazing. Here's like their reindeer. It's just so cool. The wrapping room. I'm definitely not gonna let Elliot get his hands on this because it will be ripped to shreds. So we'll keep it tied up for the time being, but I'm excited to show this book to my kids. There was one day that I went and I found both of these and I just thought it was like the perfect find to get them at the same time. So I got this little Santa book and this mug. Look how cute and tiny. This book is so precious. This is actually Elliot's favorite book. 
He reaches for this almost every night. This is the book he wants me to read to him every night. For the most part, he just likes to flip through the pictures. Um, and this mug I have displayed in our kitchen. So those were some awesome finds. I was so excited to find this and I have the original package that it came in. Like this was not even opened yet. So it's a little Ferris wheel. It sings, it works, everything works on it. Honestly, Elliot is obsessed with it. Again, something I try not to let him touch because he just wants to be aggressive with it. Things like this are what remind me of childhood. The little trinkets that would move and sing, I just love those. And so when I saw this, I was so excited. I thought even if it doesn't work, I still will love it. But the fact that it literally had never even been used and it was $2, it was a steal. That's everything for this little mini haul. I know I've got so many things throughout the year. I usually find things, a lot of things in January, February, March, um, the beginning of the year. It's like when people are getting rid of their Christmas stuff, they donate them and that's a good time to go and look for decor. Right now our thrift store does have quite a bit of Christmas trees if you're on the hunt for something like that. But anyway, I kind of just randomly decided to do this. I was trying to remember some of the things that I found this year. So now I'm going to quickly wrap some of the white elephant gifts that we got. And then I don't know if I'll have time today to wrap other presents. It might not be a good idea to do that on camera anyway, just in case my kids see it. So I didn't really think about that, but I will at least get those two gifts wrapped and then I will start working on the front porch. How do you do? Would you like to come sit on my knee? Good, now, there we are. Now then, what's your name? Susan Elizabeth Walker. <laughs> what's yours? Mine. <laughs> well, I have uh, lots of names. Uh, Chris Kringle, Santa Claus, Santa Christmas, Santa Nicholas. If you were in Holland, I'd be Santa Claus. Or in Italy, I'd be Fana. I have to speak many languages because, of course, I travel, as you know, a great deal. So I give home Christian, and Russian. And see Guru, Jay, Yah, That's what My mother's Mrs. Walker. She's director of special events for Coles.
holly hanging across the door. Neighbors singing tales of yore. It's so close, hardly can wait. Waking up on Christmas, children dreaming without a care. Tis the season most everywhere. So come home, there's no better place. Waking up on Christmas Day, tinsel wrapped around the tree, snowflakes dancing in the street, presents tied up with a string. 